hope that you're doing great. Welcome to today's class. It's our seventh lesson on formula and variation, whereby we are looking at our example number two uh, on variation, which is a past cases equation tested in 207, paper two, question number 18. So it reads that given that y is inversely proportional to x to the power of n and k as the constant of proportionality. So in um, part A, Roman 1 of the question, they want us to write down uh, a formula connecting y, x, n, and k. So remember, whenever we talk of inverse proportionality, it simply means you are going to take 1 divided by the second uh, quantity that you are given. Therefore, you are going to have y uh, being inversely proportional to, so because of inverse proportionality, we are going to have 1 divided by the second quantity is x to the power of n. Since we are restricted to use k as the constant of proportionality, we are going to have y uh, being equal to, remember whenever you want to remove the proportionality simple, you introduce equal signs with a constant and we are restricted to use uh, k as the constant, then of course multiplied by a 1 divided by x to the power of n. So this one means we are going to have y uh, being equal to k multiplied by 1, you'll simply get k then of course divided by uh, x, then of course to the power of n. Then um, in uh, Roman 2 of the question, remember in Roman 1 we were required to find the equation in terms of y, x, n, and k. This is the equation, it is in terms of y, then of course we have x, n, and k. So in Roman 2 we are told that if x is 2 when y is 12 and x is uh, 4 when y is 3, write down two expressions for k in terms of n, hence find the values of n and k. So the first uh, expression I'll substitute when x is 2, uh, y being 12, therefore I'm going to have uh, 12 being equal to k, then of course divided by x to the power of n. My x is 2, so this will be uh, 2, then of course to the power of n. Then I'll make this one a fraction so that I can do cross multiplication so that I can make k subject of the formula. So 12 times uh, 2 to the power of n, I'm going to have 12. Then of course uh, multiplied by uh, 2 to the power of n being equal to 1 multiplied by k, I'm going to get uh, k. So this will be my first uh, expression, uh, that is equation for k. Then to get the second Equation, I'll simply substitute when x is 4 and y being 3. So I'm going to have uh, in this particular equation, so y is 3. So I'm going to have uh, 3 uh, being equal to uh, k, then of course divided by x to the power of n. When y is 3, x is actually 4. So this will be uh, 4, then of course to the power of n. So I'll, I'll also make this one uh, a fraction so that I can cross multiply and make... Uh, k to be the subject of the formula so that I'm going to get the following. So if I do cross multiplication, I'm going to have 3 multiplied by uh, 4 to the power of n uh, being equal to, of course, 1 multiplied by k, I'm simply going to get k. So this is my second um, equation for k. So I've formed the two expressions for k, that is in terms of uh, n. Then you are told, hence find the values of n and k. To find the values of um, uh, n and k, I'm simply going to equate the two equations. So I'll say that equating, so equating uh, equations 1 and 2, equating equations 1 and 2. So I'm equating equation 1 and 2 because they are both uh, equal to k. Therefore, if I equate the two equations, I'm going to have the following. So the first equation is um, 12, then of course multiplied by uh, 2 to the power of n is equals to uh, k. Then the second equation is k is equals to, so it, it is still the same same k, which is equals to 3, then of course multiplied by 4 to the power of n. So this one simply implies that uh, 12 multiplied by uh, 2 to the power of n must be equal to, uh, 3 multiplied by 4 to the power of n, since both numbers are equal to uh, k. Then if I divide through by 3, I'm going to have the following, divided by 3, divided by 3, of course these 3 and 3 will cancel out, 12 divided by 3, I'm going to get 4, so I'll have 4 multiplied by 2 to the power of n, uh, being equal to 4 to the power of n. 
then if I want to solve uh, for the value of uh, n, I'm simply going to express both numbers to the same base. So if you look at the numbers, they can be expressed to base 2. So 4 is the same as saying 2 to the power of 2, then multiplied by uh, 2 to the power of n being equal to 4 can be written as 2 to the power of uh, 2. But because we already have an n on the power, so this will be 2 to the power of uh, 2n. So uh, if you use the laws of indices, whenever you, if the bases are the same, if you take a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n, it, you should get a to the power of m plus n. That whenever you multiply a similar bases, then you are supposed to add the numbers on the power. Therefore, uh, we are going to get the following. So this is going to give us so we are going to get, um, this one means 2 to the power of 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of n can be rewritten as uh, 2 to the power of, we simply add the powers, so this will be 2, then of course plus the other power is n, which should be equal to, on the other side we have a 2 to the power of 2n. So since the bases are the same, you simply drop the bases, then you equate the powers. So I'm going to have 2 plus n uh, being equal to, to n. If I collect the like terms together, I'm going to have 2 being equal to, uh, so actually uh, 2 will be equal to uh, 2n, then of course minus n. So I'm going to have 2 being equal to 2n minus n, I'm simply going to get n. Therefore, the value of n is equal to uh, 2. Then if I want to find the value of k, I'm simply going to uh, substitute the value of n in one of the uh, equations that I'm having. So let me substitute in equation Roman uh, 2. Remember this is our equation Roman 2. So equation Roman 2 stated that uh, 3 multiplied by 4 to the power of n should be equal to k. Therefore I'm going to have 3 then of course multiplied by 4 to the power of n. Now my n is 2. It should be equal to k. Therefore I'm going to have 3 multiplied by 4 squared. I'll get 16 being equal to k. It simply implies that my value of k will be equal to 3 multiplied by 16, which will give me 48. So my value of k is equal to uh, 48. So k is equal to 48, whereas n is actually equal to 2. Then, um, uh, so we are told to find the values of n and k. Then part b of the question, uh, we are told to. So in part b of the question, uh, they want us to find the following. So we are told to uh, use, using the value of n obtained in a Roman 2 above, find y when x is equal to 5 and a third. So this is 5 and a third. So this will be equal to, I'll simply substitute in one of the equations that I have. So remember the original equation was, um, we had y being equal to, so this was the original equation, y is equal to k, then of course divided by uh, x to the power of n. Since we have already found the values of uh, k and n, I'll simply substitute them so that I have y being equal to, my value of k is uh, 48, then of course divided by x to the power of n. So this will be x, then of course to the power of n. So my value of n is actually equal to 2. So this is the equation. Then I'm told to find y when x is 5 uh, and a third. So my value of y will actually be equal to 48. So remember we are answering part B of the question. So y will be equal to 48. Then uh, the whole thing divided by x to the power of n, but our n is 2. So this will be, my value of x is uh, 5 whole number and a third. So 5 and a third, then of course to the uh, power of 2, because it was x squared. So this will be equal to, uh, 48 then of course uh, divided by if I express uh, 5 whole number so 5 whole number and a third into uh, improper fraction I'm going to get 16 out of 3 so this will be uh, 16 of course of uh, 3 then the whole thing is uh, squared or to the power of uh, 2 so to the power of 2 then um, if I simplify, this is what I'm going to get. So I'm going to get the following. Uh, if I simplify that, this is what I'm going to get. 
So I'll have y being equal to, so I'm going to get uh, y is equals to 48, 48, then of course the whole thing uh, divided by, so this one simply means I'm going to square everything. Huh? So 16 squared, if I take 16 squared, I'm going to get 256. So this will be 256, then of course divided by uh, 3 squared, I'm going to get positive 9. Huh? So this will be positive 9. So it means that y will be equal to, remember whenever you divide, you need to multiply with the reciprocal. So this will be 48, then of course multiplied by the reciprocal of 256 over 9 will be 9, then of course divided by uh, 256. So if um, I compute this on my calculator, I'm going to get 48 uh, multiplied by 9 uh, over 256. So I'm going to get, um, so this one is giving me 1 point, so my y will be 1 point. Uh, 6, 1.6875, uh, uh, which can be also expressed as, uh, in terms of improper fraction, I'm going to get one whole number, uh, 11 over 16, one whole number, 11 over 16. So either this or this are both acceptable 